have you ever been persuaded by Brad? I mean, they lose your tone kind of a thing. Uh, now he talked to me during the year. And I've been at a bunch of them over there. Uh, the last one was Kansas the year before. Uh, so it's, it's something that these coaches get back and it's nice that we can blend in and help a little bit for this, you know, obviously a cause that uh, resonates with almost every family. What did you make of Illinois this year and what they've become on the brand of you? Uh, I remember when he got the job, we, we have a mutual friend, he, he may have mentioned it earlier, Jim Kerwin, who actually was the head coach of Western Illinois. And so, so I sort of knew him. And uh, maybe the first year or second, I'm not sure. He was saying he wants to be consistent like Michigan State at that time. Like bring credibility to the program and it'll be a fact nationally. <clears throat> and obviously he's achieved that. Uh, this year was a great run. Uh, I'm sure everybody's disappointed with the outcome against Connecticut, but uh, they were you know, too deep at every spot. And, uh, those of us that watched their games during the year knew that they would have be awfully darn good on a night like to beat that. Covered a lot of Final Fours. Where's UConn kind of rank uh, among some of the great teams that you covered? Wow. I don't, you know, 80, 82, I guess. Uh, Carolina was pretty good when Jordan made that jumper. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of uh, you know, kids stayed in school longer in the 80s. You know, now with the one and dones of our current uh, you know, teams, it's a little bit different. But uh, when, when you've got size and defense and uh, back up at every spot, uh, you've got yourself a heck of a team. And that, that's what UConn was like. So, so, I mean, to compare like Walton's era with this, is, you know, for this time, they were awfully good. You've seen a lot of different eras. What do you make of the portal era, NIL, and oh, how do you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sort of glad I'm on, on. So I'm glad on this side. You know, <laughs> right. I, I, I just think it's, well, uh, it's mind boggling for older people that have been in basketball. And if you want to stay in it, you've got to jump in and give it the best shot you can. Speaking of guys who've been around, right? <laughs> But, and I think that's what guys have done. Now, Mike Bray a couple of years ago said, look, we all may not like it, but if you want to coach, you better do it. I think that's the way everybody's approached this thing. And, you know, it's, it's a, a free market, and, you know, kids are in, in an aggressive position, basically. You know, the, uh, whether it's in your program or trying to attract somebody, you know, that's the kids, the kid and family decision. I got the better earlier. Uh, as you know, Jim is, uh, I'm not talking about alcohol now. <laughs> oh, uh, Jim was always going to every event that he was asked to go to. And it was, we would follow the lead. Uh, so we didn't do as much this year. Uh, but he, he wanted to move on and with a young family, spend a little more time with his children. So, and I've done almost 600 games with Iron Eagle. Uh, I've been New Jersey Nets for 23, 24 years, you know. So, uh, you know, it was just a smooth transition in that respect. And it was nice. He came, we spent some time together, and obviously watching the Masters, uh, you know, he got right, right back into his work schedule. What's the origin of onions, the way you say man to man? Oh, uh, like. Uh, I didn't go to Harvard, so that's probably part of it, you know. Uh, onions, uh, I was doing a net game against Orlando. This is Ian Eagle, and we, and I don't remember what team. And Kevin Edwards, who I was at the ball, we weren't used to winning. That's had a terrible record. Makes a shot against Orlando, a three at the buzzer to win, and I said onions. Never had said it before. So not much in there, so it blurted out. And the man-to-man -man started where uh, I was trying to get out of the play-by-play -play man's way. So it was like for him to you know, recognize who's on the floor. And I didn't realize it until maybe a couple of years that I would be you know, in the airport and somebody would go, get him. And I wonder, what the hell's wrong with that guy? You know, that kind of thing. But it was just a little way of stringing the words together to be polite for the play-by-play -play man. So not much genius in that answer. <laughs> How long do you want to keep doing it? Uh, you know, as long as I can stay healthy. And, uh, you know, I saw my pal, Vern Lundquist, retired yesterday. I, was, I spoke to him Saturday night. 
Uh, he knew it was time, and, and hopefully I will too. You know, so far so good. You know, still able to get up the steps, still able to have a cocktail at midnight, you know, and enjoy life. A little bit. But you know, the game obviously has been good to all of us. And, you know, it's a great way to be connected uh, to the sport, and for us, the game starts. We're not part of my back. When the game starts, we don't have to worry about portal, you know, transfer, you know, NIL. It's ten kids playing against one another, so it's not as much of a. There's not a drawback to it. Basically, that you know, these they have to go through. And, you know, fight the fight to get players. Are there some announcers that you kind of idolized and, and emu- have emulated or and learned from? Uh, I learned from a lot. I mean, I didn't. I thought I was going to be John Wood, you know, coach forever, you know, and I ended up getting into this crazy business. But uh, over the years, Vern Lundquist would be one I was teamed with him for so many years, and I think you learn by sitting next to people who are professional and talented versus a dialogue where you should do this, you should do that. So you glean from everybody and you work around, you know, idiosyncrasies or... So I've worked with so many good people. I kept track years ago and I was over a hundred different men that I worked with and a couple of ladies too. So you try and learn from all of them. I, 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 I,